Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you all a really fun, sexy, just dark New Year's Eve eye makeup look that is just very simple, but just a go-to look for me. I think that anyone can pull this off, and it's just something that I think that everyone should sort of know how to do, because you can really put it with anything if you're going out at night, or you just want your eyes to look a little extra done and glamorous, a little darker, without looking like Halloween-ish. So, um, I will also be sharing with you all an outfit of the day. My easy and effortless look for New Year's, especially since it's cold outside. It's sort of an idea on how you can take one piece and make it a statement and a sea of all of the typical like black dark clothing that we see for New Year's Eve. I'll share all the details on that at the end of the video. But first, keep watching and I will show you how I did the makeup look step by step. So first I'm going to put down this dark eyeshadow base. This is Sculpt by Sigma. And I'm just going to apply that all over the lid with my fingertip. I want this look to be very, very black, especially at the lash line. So I'm using the Benefit Waterproof Bad Gal Black Liner. Just getting it as close to my lashes as possible. You don't have to be super careful because we're going to put the black eyeshadow over this. But it's just going to make it look really seamless, make everything look really smooth. You can even tight line right in between the lashes, sort of go from beneath and just make sure that there are no gaps. Then you can sort of take a concealer brush and just sort of like smudge that around. You can even flip it like that and make sure that it's really close to the lash line. And that brings us to our first step with the eyeshadow. I'm going to take the black from the palette. I'm using that same brush and I'm just getting really close to the lash lines again going over the black and then just sweeping it up. This is perfect for getting it really, really close to the lashes. And you can even use that for color too, but I'm going to use this E55 shading brush, which is a little larger. You can see it sort of picks up a little more color. Starting from the lash line, just pat the most color and then pat it upward to blend it all the way to the crease. When you get to the crease, you're going to turn the brush sideways and just sort of blend it right into the crease and it just makes everything look really soft. Don't worry about blending totally right now. going back and forth. Before I put any more color down, I'm going to take this big blending brush, it's an E50, and just go around all that dark color, um, not pulling it up, but just sort of blending it downward. Next we're going to warm up the look with this color called Sable and an E40 brush. We're going to take the brush right at the crease, and you can see how that sort of cuts the black down a little bit. Warms it up just a bit and just softens it even further. I'm gonna take that big blending brush from before and this cream shade, and I'm gonna pop that right into this inner corner area. Now that most of the dark eyeshadows are out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and do my under eye concealer. Normally, I would do this before my eyeshadow, but um. For this, such dark colors, I like to wait. You can use your finger to blend, but I like to use this F86 brush by Sigma. If you just pat it, it just really sort of blends everything really effortless. You don't tug on your eye area or anything. It's just really soft. Next, I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk and just lightly apply it to this area under the eye. Take your finger or a flat little brush like this. This is an E15. I like using this one for blending products under the eye or under the lower lash line of the eye. And that's going to create a really bright base for the colors that we're going to put there. I'm going to take an E30 pencil brush. I'm going to go back and forth between nude and white. Nude is like a sort of natural champagne color that has a bit of a frost to it and white is just a very matte white and then I'm going to apply that right over the color. And you see how much that sort of softened it? 
It's really, really pretty. And then just lightly apply it under there. But the most color should be right here. And then you can even put just a little bit right there. I'm going to line my waterline with that same black pencil. And I'm really not coating the waterline like crazy. I'm more, I guess, I, I would say I'm more like just tight lining. Just get it right in between those lashes. Don't go all the way in. And then just, you can lightly sort of apply it to the waterline. And using a little angled brush, you can sort of smooth that up under the lashes sort of going back and forth. It'll just kind of blend it nicer and make it look softer. I'm going to take that same pencil brush we used earlier and the, sh the taupe shade again. And I'm going to put that right here. Again, that'll keep everything from just looking so black and white. It'll really sort of give it a good blend and make it look a little softer and warm. Using my CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume for mascara. False lashes would also be really pretty for this look since it's so dark, but I'm just going to use some mascara for mine since they're pretty long. I just really don't feel like using false lashes today. You definitely don't have to do this, but if you want just a little bit of brow highlight, I'm going to take that cream shade and this larger brush, just a little bit. All right, so bronzer is going to be the same thing that I've been using as of late, the Too Faced Sun Bunny. I really, really love this one. And my Chanel brush, this angled one. It's the number two powder contour. It's really quite perfect for bronzer. Um, but when you do dark eyes like this, I always say that I like to have a bit more bronzer going on just so that I don't look so like, bleh. especially since I'm wearing a little bit more black. And then for blush, I don't want anything too pink or crazy. I want to sort of go with a, um, this is sort of like a mauve tan, and it's called Accent by Chanel. I think it's one of their limited edition shades for their holiday collection. It's really pretty. It has a lot of, um, it's, it's really dark, actually. Like, you could build it up for someone with... Uh, much, much darker skin than mine. I really like it. And then for lips, I already did it uh, because I was just wanting, sometimes I do lips before I do my eyes just so that I can like kind of balance it out and see how I want to do them. I don't know. Are you guys like that? Like I do things in different orders sometimes like because I know that sometimes my lips depend on what I do for my eyes and anyways, I was just sort of experimenting. I didn't want to wipe it off because it looked pretty good. So I used the Hourglass. This is one of those nude crayons in the nude number six, which is one of the darker nudes that they have. And that looked really nice because I didn't want to just look totally paled out, but I didn't want a lot of color on my lips. I just wanted it to be very like nude lip color without looking like a light nude, like washed out. Um, and then I wanted sort of like a silvery... A, like a silvery iridescence to it. So I put a little bit of this MAC Secret Lover on top, which is just that. Ooh, it has, you can see where I put it on over that, but this is like a perfect silvery nude. And then I put a little bit of this uh, MAC Morning Glory Luster Glass. You don't have to do this many um, lip products, but I think it's fun to sort of like mix up things and especially like when I was doing the tutorial and I did like the eyeshadows and I mixed them certain ways. Um, it's what it's all about. Just play with what you got until you get it right. So for this look, I'm going to show you my outfit. For my hair, I just went very easy and undone. I don't, didn't want to look too fussy. I just, I, my style is very like, I don't know, it's, it's hard to explain. Like I cringe when I think that I look too put together or you know, if you have too many trendy things going on or if you just are wearing a million trends because then I feel like I look like a store window and I just, I like to look like I didn't try too hard, you know? Um, I don't know. And sometimes that goes with my hair too. Like if I'm more dressed up, I don't want my hair to be like super curly and perfect. I think it just looks sort of nice if it's just sort of undone. So I just took my curling iron and I just lightly curled it, didn't hold it on long at all. I took really large sections and then I just brushed it out and then immediately sprayed it and sort of 
um, you know, pieced it out. All right, so this is my outfit. I love these pants by Joie. I have them in black too. Um, I can even bunch them up a little more, but I wore them closer to the ankle. Uh, they're just really comfortable. I love this color. It is outside of the typical, like, really black and then sequin, like, outfits that you're going to see a ton of for New Year's Eve. But I just think this looks comfortable. It doesn't look like I tried too hard, uh, but it still looks really fun and stylish. Uh, this top is just a silky black top from Express. You can put any black top. That's what's so easy about these pants is that you can just really wear anything with them and they look really put together and nice. So just an easy silky black top. Um, this is just a simple little blazer by Zara. You could do a black leather jacket, you could do a boxier blazer, whatever you like. These are my new shoes from Target. I really, really love these. Um, they're by Sam and Libby, which they do that whole line for Target. They have a little spike detail on the heel, which is really nice. And the toe looks sort of like a snake type thing. Um, but they're really comfortable. I've worn them once already and um, they're just really nice and comfy and I have very wide feet so if these work for me they will work for you and they are very true to size. So just a few more things. I have my necklace from uh, BCBG. This is just my favorite necklace ever. I think that everyone needs like a really nice big statement necklace that's in like a gold or a black, something that you could literally throw in with anything. This necklace makes any outfit that I own look a hundred times better. It looks almost like, um, it's like an accent like to the top even. Like it just, if you wear a really plain top, it just sort of looks like it's, it just looks like it's made for most tops that I put it with. I, I just love it. Um, and more about my clutch. This is huge, but I love this big clutch because you can still fit everything that you need in it, especially like if you're going out for the night, if you're going shopping, this is a good clutch because you can still put your big wallet in it. Um, that, that's just my thing with most, where most clutches are concerned is that I just feel like I can't put what I want in it. So this is just the perfect option for me. I just got my simple... Um, bracelets on that I really never take off from the currentcustom.com. These are just my favorites. I love these so much. Something else about my outfit you may notice, I am totally for dressing for the season. I don't care how, what kind of party I'm going to if, you know, I mean it just depends. If I'm going to something that like really calls for like a specific type, like if you had to wear some crazy gown or something perfect, then yeah, that's different. But if you're going to like a New Year's Eve party or if you're going out to dinner or something and it is freezing outside, I cringe. I, I just, to me, I feel so uncomfortable wearing like a skirt or something that doesn't look like it's like for the season. Even if it's like New Year's Eve and you want to wear like a fun skirt, whatever. Do that if that makes you comfortable. But for me, to me, I just think, wow, it looks like I had nothing else to wear. Like, I just, I cannot stand that for me personally. So I like to wear what I have for the season and make them into like anything that would be appropriate. So yeah, easy, effortless, comfortable, but you know, that's just my style. I just like to look put together, but not like I've tried too hard. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. It's no secret that this is not New Year's Eve and I'm not going out for New Year's Eve right now because I'm posting this around Christmas actually. I hope that you guys have a very Merry Christmas. Um, when New Year's Eve rolls around, if we go out, I'm not quite sure what we're doing yet. Uh, we've got to figure out our plans and stuff, but this is definitely an option and probably what I will wear if we go out or do whatever. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that you have a very Merry Christmas, a great rest of the year. I will be doing another video, another couple videos I'm sure before the end of the year is up. Uh, but I hope that you guys are having a great day and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye.